Young Fitz, John, and first we'd like to thank you and, and your uh, uh, majority staff for all the hard work on this legislation. And also, I'd like to express my support for the chairman's uh, session amendment being offered here today. Uh, like all other members of this committee, I often um, have at, uh, at meetings with educators in our district. And one of the concerns that I hear most often is that much of the federal money coming to local schools and districts uh, comes in a variety of funding streams, each with its own restrictions and reporting requirements. And sometimes it's a cost more to get the money than it does uh, to not get the money because of the reporting requirements. And so I do exceed the amount involved for small, small districts. The, uh, uh, administrators and teachers require or ask if there's a way that we could consolidate some of these funding pots so that schools can better apply the funds to areas where they have the most effect, where they really have, have needs in their particular situation. Uh, these feelings are strongest in small and or rural school districts where funding tends to be limited. The underlying legislation and the substitute that you propose today gives them that much needed flexibility. Wisconsin schools are doing a lot of innovative things to prepare students for success in the 21st century economy. And I think they know that the age of work is changing. Jobs and manufacturing, where Wisconsin is a leader, require critical thinking and the ability to be innovative and to work with people of varying skill levels. As I mentioned in the hearing two weeks ago, Wisconsin is a member of the partnership of 21 social skills a coalition of states, education groups, and employers that's working to ensure that students have these critical skills. I hear from educators that uh, these innovative programs help to bring to life the subjects that students are studying in school, often as we their focus on core academics. Then I also hear that schools and districts are hamstrung by their inability to put federal funds to use in these innovative ways. This bill would help them to do so. 